guys, Group One Rick back. I'm Calvin. Aaron. Eric. Rick. And we are back with the part two of the Clone part Wars two. movie. Huh? That's what? not what this no, is. No, that's so wrong. Star All right, what's, what's the full Star, Star Wars, Wars, Wars Vintage Wars. colon Clone Wars 2D micro slash series? That's the hyphen. Volume 2. Volume 2. Yes, Volume 2. But not made in the volume. This is all of Season 2 put on at once. We're watching this at Disney Plus, where they have this collective. Mm -hmm. Uh, Last time... When did this one come out? uh, This one was just before... No, this one came out uh, slightly later, uh, in 2004, I think, right before uh, Episode 3, I believe. Hmm. I might be wrong. It's either right before or right after uh, 2005. Is when this came out. But before episode three came out? Oh, no. It's either right before or right after May 19, 2005. So, so yes. Three. Before or after episode three came out? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. You said no. Well, <laughs> I, was, I said I was, it, and then you said no then? I, don't know. I was confused and trying to figure out exactly what you meant, but okay. Um, so, anyway, last time on, guys, what all uh, did we see and what we like? And what Sa- did we Asajj and Anakin fighting. Mm. Yeah. To the death. On the Masasi we temple. We saw them have yeah. uh, space fights as well, which was quite good. Mm-hmm. Yep. Grievous fight a lot of Jedi and mm-hmm. kick their butts. Yeah. It's scary. Grievous good. was much more intimidating and much more effective than he has ever been in the Clone Wars. And Mace Windu was very effective as well. Yeah. He was. He could take on Grievous. He took out that, that planet hydraulic ram mm-hmm. channel. Get it? YouTube channel. <laughs> the YouTube channel. Tanked him. The hydraulic press. Canceled him. Yep. I don't understand. It's a YouTube channel that's very famous for crushing things on a hydraulic press. Oh, it's like a right. blend. Let us continue uh, on this day, May 4th, the Clone Wars before Clone Wars. Na, 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 na. Red versus blue. <laughs> oh man, I got a little ammo pouch thing. Begin jamming signals. Yes, sir. Oh, they're low on the ground. Holy shit. Coming in hot. Oh, this is where Grievous fight was. Open doors. I think. It looks like the same place. It does. It could be not. It There's could so also many... just be another crashed starship. On the same planet, on a different planet. They are undetected. They're low. They're not even looking the right way at the perimeter. (laughs) No, yeah, they're facing inward towards the Jedi and Grievous. Those droids don't give a fuck. I think they're disabled. Does seem that way. Oh, Oh, fuck. (laughs) What the hell? What? Did it blow up? I don't know. Sir, another in the Raptors. Yes, sir. <laughs> these guys are great. I love these guys so much. Uh, oh! I like his uh, mask. Neat. Like his helmet's kind of cool. It's the, like a, the color of this like clone carrier thing is really cool. I have this downstairs in my collection. <laughs> this gunship. It's peeking out the hole. Yeah. Uh oh. Fight. Look at him. Right back into it. Okay. <laughs> Light him up! <laughs> oh, he didn't do it. What are you talking about? The. <laughs> you know, I, guess yeah. I think the rocket might have given him a problem. Whoa. Man, it is That's like a, a German anti aircraft. They're That's just cool. doing the better on this. They saw him move. They are. This is the Predator. <laughs> <laughs> he's just running up the. Magnetic legs. Well, he's also got like claws. What do you think they're doing, Kiari Mundi? <laughs> he now he's down. What do you want now? Die! No. Shoot him back up! No! Back up! Now! Like they need backup or to get. Oh, what the heck? That's a backup. Shoot him! Shoot him! And those bolts are so slow. He's not cackling or running away. I don't right? know who this character is. He's not as a spider. He's running away, Rick. But he's not cackling. Oh, now they blow up. Yep. Now they have See. an escape route. Yep. They gotta be able to make it out. Clever. Because they could close the gap after they would blow up the first time. Did you hear that, Master Qui-Gon? Yes, Anakin. It calls to you. The tree? Yes. You must enter it. Dagobah? Alone. Hmm. Control your fear. You are the chosen one. And you must be tested. Well, this is different. What's in there? Only what you take with you. What was that? Huh. 
we may have been exhausted. That was really interesting. When was the last time someone stood up to five Jedi and held his own? We forego the trials and promote my Padawan Anakin to Jedi Knight. This is preposterous. Who the we fuck is that guy? Snake guy, right? Hallowed traditions. One spirit must be strong. That requires discipline. And he has often disobeyed you. Has he not, Master Kenobi? Look, he belongs in Dr. Seuss. His great chance. Yeah. Disobey me from time to time in your youth, Master <laughs> Francis. <laughs> One night, he shall be. Whoa. <laughs> I love it. A lot of aliens. Get this all down there. Who's he looking for? Mm -hmm. That oh. person? Yep. That would be the one. Annie. <laughs> and most importantly in my heart, I will always love you. Wow. You do look really good, Doc. <clears throat> they nailed his dialogue. They did. <laughs> He's just trying to figure out what he says or is saying oh, there. No. You look really good while I can't <laughs> see you very well. <laughs> You left without notifying. You look different, 3PO. Oh, it must be this disguise. <laughs> oh, 3PO, it's your new gold plating. Gold plating? Oh, yes. Well, let's see it. Here, now, in this neighborhood. <laughs> Why the. <laughs> impressive. I love it. Impressive. Yeah. Most impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, ridiculous. I loved it. I think it's so funny. It's great. It's a perfect amount of ridiculous. It had like that, that jazzy. Yep. What are we doing? Uh, ah, it's not jizz. What do they call it? In in Star Wars, it's it is jizz. It is jizz. Oh. Yeah, it's jizz in the alley. <laughs> Only when three took off his clothes. It's like they can't be right. It can't be jizz. It's jizz. Trial of the spirit. Or the knighting, just knighting. I think they're doing the trial. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. Step forward, Padawan. By the right of the council, by the will of the force, dub the I do Jedi. Cut off his paddle. Yes! Fuck yeah! Knight of the Republic. It's almost exact like the beginning of the Highlander cartoon. <laughs> I have a visual. Jedi? I think so. <laughs> How many? A thousand? No. One. No, sir. Just one. Fifty? It's just Anakin, I bet. Yeah. Woody, come on. How many? Two. What? Give me those. <laughs> huh. Yes. Oh, man. Huh. This is cool. I like this. Everybody's got new haircuts. <laughs> Time has passed. What? Got him in a bubble. It's Why? A capture device. Yeah. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Anakin's Jedi armor looks so cool here. So Vader too. That's all it took. Yeah. The guy always is. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's a montage. It's easier from the outside. It's like Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah. Makes perfect sense. No. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> This is poor Obi Wan. <laughs> Anakin spending the night with a yep. senator. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Just lay in the middle. <laughs> Whoa! Hello, Kenobi. Commander Cody. The siege Cody. goes well. With our continued barrage, their shields should be like down in three right? months. But we've been three here a months month already. Yes, sir. We're right on schedule. <laughs> Gosh. Yep. How can you eat that? But master, you're the one who always taught me to feed off the living force. That's not what I <laughs> <laughs> This must not be a very well supplied siege. <laughs> That's so Ooh. long. I found this ancient sewer that goes right under the old city. Uh, it's like Shadows of the Empire. Going through the sewer. I hated that so much. Me too. Sewer levels are always terrible. Gross and creepy, and you gotta fight a giant. Ugh, I didn't like it all. Let's go. No, 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 wait. Did you say something? Negative. There are alternatives to fighting. 
are alternatives to fight? A handful of grenades! You don't know that, they could just be marbles. They're That's grenades. No fun. I would have rolled one underneath every droid in the room. And they're walking out. <laughs> We've done our job, job, my friend. Nice job. They shortened that by three months. Fuck! Jeez. War rages across the galaxy. Surprised they took them as prisoners. <gasps> Max Rebos. They're so sad. This is why he makes such good music. They always look sad. Yeah. Artists express their pain through their art. Exactly. <laughs> Master, destroy my focus. You're holding the saber too tightly. Now, too lightly. <laughs> hmm. A new one. Your training has served me well. You must have fear, surprise, and intimidation on your side. For if any one element is lacking, it would be best for you to retreat. You must break them before you engage them. Only then will you ensure victory. Hmm. And have your trophy. I like this. Wise counsel, my apprentice. Most wise. Scrap! Catch it! I don't think it's lethal, trooper. Yes, sir. Oh. You'd be surprised. Oh. I feel it too. A disturbance. A disturbance? It's gonna be like. Interest? Whoa! Not of interest. <laughs> it snuck up on him. Yeah. I think it was hiding no. in the graves. Yeah, it was underground. <laughs> He's just no. stepping on him. Good lord. Oh. Now you're a cloven hooved beast. Wait, no, wait! He did. Was it defending its young or something, maybe? Or, or it explodes when it dies? Oh, they just killed God. Right. Avatar. A little bit. They're the blue people. Kind of. Ah, oh, invasion. invasion of Coruscant. They need some better scanners. Maybe they knocked out communications. That's the first sign of invasion. It is. It only mean one thing. I don't know if it's the first time. <laughs> I suppose. I mean, there had to have been signs before this. Whoa, snow panthers. Yep, yep. Rotonda got tested! It seems you've interrupted the boy's rite of passage, or test. How do you know what they're saying? When you travel the universe with Qui-Gon Jinn, you tend to learn a few things. Champion after champion have been sent out, yet none have returned. That's why all the men are dead. choosing another one when you intervened. It seems you have to journey into fire. What? Oh, you took out the beast. Right now or later? You are number 13. you to safety. We have to evacuate the building. Get everyone to a shelter. Yes, my lady. <laughs> Of a hole. <laughs> their dialogue. And and for joy. I'm gonna shoot, and nobody better get in my way. <laughs> Man, wow. Is this cannon? This attack on Coruscant? I mean, Crazy. there was an attack on Coruscant. We just three start. We just never saw it. I guess it so. was. It was like, after the temple fell. He got uh, what? Right? No, the temple fell when Anakin did their stuff. That's. That's what I'm saying. No, the, the Palpatine got taken and was on that uh, cruiser at the beginning of episode three. So, like, there was an attack on Coruscant. Sure. We just never saw it. I was going to ride it. Yeah. <laughs> he's pulling a Vulcan. Is he controlling it? No, he's doing Ratatouille. <laughs> or is, he just, is he just riding? He's just riding, right? No. What? He's controlling it, Aaron! He just tamed the droid starfighter? He's doing a ratatouille! This is... See some ridiculous things in Star Wars. I don't know. He's controlling it by its hair. He's shatter point. I don't think that's how that works. That's what it's done to bats. It's finding weaknesses, not that's controlling your mind. different. There's no mind in that. Good shooting. Huh? 
It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at him. Looks like a chariot. Yeah. I think it's really cool in concept. I think it's really silly based on Star Wars. Yeah. It wouldn't work in live action. No. People would be going ballistic. <laughs> oh, there's the stars. No. Jeez. That's a whole lot of ships. That Man. was great. I love that. That was amazing. The scale of this is so much bigger than everything in Clone Wars. Jump. Are they going to jump one of them? Jump, men. Whoa. Dovahkiin. Yeah. And you have like a half a second window to jump. I think you're right. They're all just going to jump on that ship. Yeah. They fly now. You don't have to fly in space. You just float with a bomb. <laughs> they fly. Yeah, okay, they all have jetpacks. He has a force. Jeez. <laughs> He's gonna take this droid cruiser. It was intended to be piloted by creatures, right? That's why they needed to arm them with droids. Oh, now they have... Yay. They're always doing that when they win. Ah! They're saying... Ghost hand. They think... Uh... Is... <laughs> Hold Kazette! Hold Kazette! <laughs> what are you doing? No, it's what you're doing. Your ghost hand. Yeah. That's <laughs> so quiet. Oh, Yoda! <laughs> I'm a it's like what they did on that I told you on the uh, Endor. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Oh man! Yoda is so fucking powerful. More of that. Send him to the front lines. No, go back in. They just <laughs> Commodore. <laughs> <laughs> now blow up. Like Go away. <laughs> Yoda is too uh, powerful. That's funny. You judge it by his size, do you? Yeah. Whoa, is that a course on Tauntaun? What are those? Food! Dinner. It's for Gagakis, it Vajni. He says this nothing. may hurt a bit. <laughs> oh, like weird leeches. Whoa. Oh, they're gonna draw this, this tattoos on him. Necessary? Cool. Oh no, it's they're healing him. Ritual. Yeah, that toy made me try to figure out. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> on podcast? Which one? Uh, the second one. The weird shaped one. It was this figure. Oh, oh gosh. gosh. Cool. This right guy's always the same one, right? Fro Frodo? Ford. 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 <laughs> that shot was so long. I <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. It's like Mel Gibson the, running through. I love the goat. Carrying a flag. Oh, my gosh. Go ahead, bus people. <laughs> <laughs> This is ridiculous. Mace Windu, man. He's punching <laughs> the robots in half! I love when he does this. Uh, <laughs> ah! Sounds like a machine gun when he punches them. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> Palpatine. Yep. You yeah. have a fiddle. <laughs> Come in. Supreme Chancellor, we must get you to your shelter immediately. Hmm. See, it was nothing. <laughs> He's got the. He didn't have the red inside of his cape in the first part, did he? I don't remember. It was just Rebus? white, I think, yeah. Damn, it's so visceral. Oh. Like, no one's even shooting. He's just killing everybody. You take the stairs. There are no stairs. It's like a thousand floors. Yeah. It's a waste of space. <laughs> <laughs> that Thorin, like. <laughs> I like the towel. Uh, towels. <clears throat> Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> Giant fruits. Yeah. <laughs> Every time we talk about them, I think of this. Oh, I hope he lands on top. <laughs> He's running. Never mind. That's better. No <laughs> <It was> sound. <laughs> Hobbs and Shaw took the it's through the, oh, through the glass. <laughs> shooting now he's inside. The Such a cool power. <laughs> uh, T Rex, Grievous. My G100s. 
Yeah, they're so they ineffective well, against the, the Jedi. Jedi. Yeah. They about the troopers. Poor troopers. Self. Formed into spirit. Vader's mask. Whoa! That's exactly what. Ugh. <laughs> oh, yeah, ran through it. <laughs> of course he does. <laughs> we'll play the fight. Oh, he's got the chance, and he's got to fight Grievous. This fight goes so far. <laughs> now, Clever. Jedi, prepare yourself, for you are about to leave this world. I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. It was. <laughs> Quarter Raiden. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Obi Wan does that too. That's with three, right? I will perform the procedure myself. Yes, sir. These are the champions that they capture. Melvon Warrior? What are they doing to you? Give him a bane venom. No! Break him out of there! Jedi! Fucking techno union. Break him out of there, hurry! Man, they're like big, scary naked mole rats. Attack! Attack! It changed so much from before. I know. Oh, that's cool. It's like a solid dude. <laughs> General Windu, pilot, jump into the, the ship. Yes, Turn this shit around. Though. You are Nelbon warriors. Free this man! It's being electrocuted or whatever. You must stop. It's being transformed. Yeah. Look how big he is. And... <laughs> He's gonna free himself. He sees the ghost hand. Jeez, man, he changed so much in there over that short time. He's a slightly different color. It was a bad for him. Yeah. This drawer that. Is that a kyber crystal? Yeah, it is. No! Oh, she's surrounded. <laughs> That's good, I like that. Hack him! <laughs> <laughs> it's so much better than a lightsaber. No, much better. Like I, feel like this, I feel like this one's switching back and forth too much for it to be like each one right now. Yeah, they got. This has got to be a. I'm very curious on where the episode's starting in on some of them. I think it was oh. five episodes total, maybe? Five total, maybe. That's really cool how quiet it is in here. <laughs> the sound is awful. Yeah. Oh! Jeez. Jeez! The whole Place army is gonna blow. A whole army of giant naked mole rats. <laughs> Where's your saber? You're gonna get Tuscan Raidered. Oh, he's doing it with his ghost hand. He is. <laughs> oh! Ghost hand. <laughs> They're all ghost 
said. Imagine if your family came back looking at you and they all just came back looking like these guys. They all came back to sumo wrestlers. Like, what a change they yeah. went through, you know? We saw the one guy change. Look at his fingers. Apu. Innocence of a child. Oh gosh. <laughs> Thought he was just gonna squeeze him or something. <laughs> I know. It's just it's so different, but they went through so much. It's crazy. Uh, <laughs> he's running like Mr. Burns. Uh, he is. He <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> that is how we. <laughs> I don't like the way these doors are shutting. That was the last one. Jeez. So it was like, how can I show up? You know? Shattered like his hood. Yeah. Ah, oh, the first time they've done it. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Now you can do wheel. Well, at least she doesn't have to worry about Grievous. She Gandalfing it up. They completed their mission. They yeah. don't need to fight anymore. Is it Dooku? No. No, they completed their mission. They don't need to do this because they kept her busy long enough. Sure. I don't know those Jedi. You never will. Chancellor! Shakti, my dear, <laughs> you have come to rescue me. <laughs> you are tired, Jedi. You won't be needing this. I've got something else for you. He's gonna hack her. <sighs> Windu did it to that ship. I believe it. Why can't the ship do it to Windu? Exactly. Right? He just jumped out the window. Oh, <laughs> oh that's the cough. Yeah, he's cough. <laughs> if he'd have been there sooner, he might have been able to take him. You weren't in the med lab. I thought I might find you here. We're just finishing up. See? Good as new. Anakin, the most difficult trial a Jedi must face is to look inside oneself. You must rescue Palpatine. Grievous. Battle stations, all crews of their fighters, prepare to jump into hyperspace. Move! He has a really good Hayden voice for it. Yeah. Da -da -da. <laughs> War! Cool, man. Alrighty, volume two. Yeah. What'd you guys Set think? it up perfectly for episode three. It did, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. This one actually felt a little bit more coherent of, like, all together. Mm -hmm. Rather than the last one, I felt like like we jumped in a lot of different stories more so. Where this one felt like more of like, here's just the story right before episode three. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's designed that way. Yeah. This one was meant to be more of a... Epic well, they, they knew where everything had to end up, right? So they had this bundle of, of strings over here. And in the second part, they're like... It's, mm -hmm. It ends as a bundle, but then it like it's a little bit like this. And they're like spread out a little more. And they're just starting to come together. Part one, they're just like all over the fucking place. So they have to, like, make these strings, like, okay, what makes sense to get them to here at this point and then to here at this point? You know what didn't show back up was that worm dude. I thought he was going to show back up. No, yeah, he didn't. Dirge or whatever his name was? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Dirge. I'm oh, real sad. He slithered away. I thought, but I don't think he did. No, he just... Yeah. To live another just, day. Same thing with the Saw's Ventress. True. Yeah, if you're just it. watching this, you're just like, oh, she died. <laughs> I thought she showed up again. Um, I thought she was going to show up and said that big old rhino monster thing. Yeah, I was like, mm. oh, is it, a vent is it Ventress? And it was just in like, the, not in Ventress. Frozen. Yeah, yeah, because they were talking about like something scary. Melvin, you know? Yeah. So this came so, out. Uh, it was March two thousand five, right before the movie came out. Episode three. Mm -hmm. Should put this in theaters. Yeah, I guess it, didn't. it was on Cartoon Network. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bunch of Fools. Episodes. Yeah. No, it's crazy. Like they give me twenty minutes of podcasting, but they don't give me Anakin in the cave in the movies. Come on now. Pod racing. Pod race is one of the best parts. You're just 
I don't know. I can't believe you hate the Padres. It's <laughs> pointless. It's 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 well, so fun. fun. It's a gamble. Yeah. It's a gamble going on. Yeah, you can it's gamble on a poker in just, five minutes. We're just going. Everybody in the comments, just I know that you want to and you're justified, but don't leave Rick alone. He can be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand if you dislike like the politics of things and how drawn out the like. There's a middle ground where it's just like I don't care about this stuff, but like the Padres. I'm scene, just saying between just, between this and the Clone Wars <laughs> animated show there's so much that could have been mm-hmm. when it comes to the prequels not in episode one though episode one is all before this well i'm just saying like, like you use that runtime for the whole trilogy wiser if that makes sense did, did, did you did you watch episode three i think of all the things that we shouldn't have this conversation here <clears throat> but i'll end it with all the things that you can say that it shouldn't happen episode one the podcast is like the pod race! Yeah, the pod race is so low. Rick said podcast and I was trying I to correct it and everyone keeps saying podcast. The pod race is so, so low. So low. So low. <laughs> but anyway, let's keep it on this one. I though. love this. You liked it so much that you're tearing down other things. Exactly. Like, okay, cool. I gotcha. <laughs> I really enjoy it. I, I have seen the, the Thorian yell and the capture of Palpatine. I think I've seen that whole episode. So gotcha. I remembered like that part of him like showing up, them yeah. fighting their way down, him doing the yell. I remember the ele- elevator button hit. Like I, I, I remember all the <laughs> <elevator>. <laughs> I remember all that stuff. <laughs> it's um, so good. That might have been maybe it was just that and like the end of the Ventress thing that I really kind of had out of these. Cause Interesting. I didn't have very much of this. I'm like, oh, I'm, small you know, now. I did not know at all. Yeah. Because Mace Windu could hack a droid ship with the Force. And yeah. while I say I thought it was really cool, sure, and really interesting and a fun thing to do, I think it's ridiculous. <laughs> It happened yeah. in Melgar Salt 3. Was what it ridiculous did? then? What did? Uh, Vulgan. Vulgan. I mean, I think... He used electricity, though, to manipulate it. Yeah, but the force is... No. A life force. Rick, you're going to be against the pod racers, but you're you're okay with that? <laughs> All right. It's Palpatine, and he shocks him with lightning. Do you buy it? I think I could buy it. More <laughs> if there's no. See if the space wizard did not. Nah. You know you what? Know what I, mean? I, I think that if I wanted to, I could try to dig deep and find a reason why it's, it's, it works, and you're silly for not thinking it works. But it doesn't matter. This is a cartoon. Sure, it like, is. They wanted to have a Jedi on a chariot, and that's yeah. what they got. It's a fun... That's, I said, I, yeah. I think it's a cool-looking thing, sure. and I enjoy him flying through and cutting yeah. these other things up, and yeah. it's a fun moment. But the reasoning of how it happens doesn't work yeah. in my head, and I think it's ridiculous. Doesn't, that. Uh, but I love the moment. Doesn't Black Widow do kind of the same thing? Like, turn, 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 turn. She's, like, trying to figure the thing out. Like, as she's, like, grabbing, like, a thing's shoulders or whatever. Isn't that, and like, Avengers. a living being that she's, like, manipulating? Yeah. But that's a droid. What, droids don't have rights there? Chitauri, Chitauri aren't droids. <laughs> They're kind of. They shut down. Whenever they blow it up. Mm. Yeah, I thought they killed them all. They're like uh, they have blood. They're like enhanced. Yeah, they're yeah. they're cybernetic. Like their cybernetic enhanced. parts didn't work because they were like attached to that chariot yeah. thing, right? Yeah. So he's like she's they're like they're similar to, to like what they do to, uh, but like Nebula and stuff. You know, like Eric. Yeah. Reach your hands in this television and start changing the channels. Now you know what you I know can't. I mean? do if you that. have the force, I can't do that. But if I'm a space wizard, maybe I can. Maybe. <laughs> I get you. You're not wrong. Sure. Lucifer could you're not. Do you're not right. It's just you, like it's like you sure. said. You liked it, even though you don't it. like it. Yeah, I like yeah. it. I, it doesn't work it's in like cartoon. canon wise. I'm like, yeah. this seems ridiculous. But I like the the visual yeah. of it. And a lot of this was like I li- enjoyed the visuals. Like exactly. Mace, or not Mace Windu. Anakin going down and like seeing the little like cave art mm-hmm. thing. I thought the cave art stuff mm-hmm. was really cool. The music they did to it, yeah. while it's like fighting these things off and like breaking everything, was really cool. This is a piece of art. It's meant to invoke. It's not really meant to be. The story. Sure. Yeah. Now this one was way more story than last. This one. is kind yeah. of visionsy, right? But yeah, it's kind of you in know? a way. I mean, especially now that a lot of it's not canon. Yeah. Right. They have to be like, okay, yeah. what Lucas ended up with Grievous is not what we presented in Volume One. So how do we get him to cough? It's like I don't know. Like Mace comes, <laughs> we've seen him like crunch a bunch of droids. Let's yeah. Crunch a droid. Yeah. <laughs> and you have Count Dooku tell him like, you should run away more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. To get some like, a, like yeah. a, don't be afraid to retreat or something like yeah. that. So literally, like, if you don't people... have one of those three things, then you should retreat. Yeah. Yeah. And like, like, oh, people okay. saw this on Cartoon Network before they went and saw the movie. Went and saw the movie, and when Grievous comes in, he's coughing, and all the kids in the theater that saw this are going, Mace Windu did that. And now they're wrong. No. <laughs> That's not what happened. Sure. It's so sad. Yeah. They don't really explain it too much. Yeah, there's uh, there's a couple of inconsistencies, but it's not terrible. I mean, a lot of the things, even though they, you know, we got to play with the timeline a little bit and stuff like that, like, they never retread Anakin's knighting ceremony. They never retread 
these things that we're seeing, like Anakin getting a scar, you know, that like you know that kind of thing. Like we don't know exactly when that happens, but we know the first time Padme sees it yeah. is here. Whereas that doesn't happen in the Clone Wars series. You know what's interesting and weird? Hmm. The Yoda, I guess Yoda vision of Qui Gon seeing hmm. Anakin, like sending him to the tree, training yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what that was or I think why. It was a dream. Well, yeah, it seemed to be, but it also seems it's to be like, like a dream. It's, it's almost as if was... Yoda was seeing Anakin's dream on what his life should have been. Or Yoda is just literally seeing. Is that like, what that uh, was? It was supposed to be Anakin's dream? I feel like it. it was, I, yeah. I was trying to think of like in the place of where it was, and then we woke up and it was Yoda there, and I'm like, I don't know. Where well, we're and especially yeah. with if, Anakin saying later, like, "You're no Qui Gon." Yeah, like it seemed to be present in his mind. We also know that Yoda like was like looking in on Anakin when he destroys the Tuscans too. Like you can feel that happen sure. as well. And Qui Gon's voice is in that moment mm-hmm. too. <clears throat> it was just interesting to have that and I was like what is this and, he, and then Qui-Gon also goes the only what you take with you kind of mm-hmm. thing you know and yeah, Yoda says that but like did Yoda see that and then he was like oh what's this dig of a place I should go there yeah, and I'll send Luke in there what do I say only what you take with you you know like, you probably have to be someone <laughs> like Yoda to do this but and not that this is canon or anything but let's say that he is doing something like this and if, if always in future the, mo- the you know always, always in, in motion, motion the, the future, future is then technically what if you could like sense presence or past that never happened as well that could be interesting maybe you know but the past is an emotion i understand i i I think that like this is like a ability that like most jedi could never do maybe yoda is able to do it because he can understand things more it's a a weird thing because like that's a past thing that never happened yeah but like yeah i don't know but it's a thing that should have happened perhaps it's a vision he had at one point yeah. You know, where he's like, oh, this is a future we can have. But then, like, it changes and Qui-Gon dies, so then that future never was, right? Sure. Like, the yeah. the idea, I guess, is the vision that, what did Luke see, right? When he saw the pain of his friends and stuff happen. Mm-hmm. Did he see what was currently happening, or did he see what was going to happen? And because he went there and changed some things, that didn't happen, they escaped. Or maybe or, Qui-Gon was communicating to him already at this point. Because we know in episode three, towards the end, like, he's like, I've been... You know, trying to talk to Yoda. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Luke might have just seen Han getting shocked. Sure, yeah. So, like, there's that idea of, like, and since we don't usually see what it is that they're seeing, mm-hmm. there's no real way of necessarily knowing, oh, well, that did happen or that yeah. didn't happen. You Can, know? Because if he never, if he never would have went, Han would have still gotten taken away by Boba and yeah. Lando probably would have still gotten laying them out of there. Can probably. they have force visions about droids? Or does it have to be part of the living force? Um, I mean, dro- droids can be seen in the Force as well. Yeah, I mean, it's all, all things. connected it, it, it connects in some rocks, ways, right? Connects, yeah. yeah. So, rocks. yes and no. I mean, there are different rules for different things. Like, you can't force heal a droid or anything, but the Talzin can. It's like 3PO got the worst of it on Vespin. Not Vespin. Vespin? Bespin. Bespin. Yeah. yeah. Not Vespin gas. Yeah. <laughs> Although the Bespin did mine gas. That's yes. true. <laughs> I mean, it could just be connected to Yoda's line from episode one where he first meets Anakin. He's like, difficult to see this one's future as he could have seen a version where if Qui-Gon, you know, it's the Dave Filoni thing about Duel of the Fates. Qui-Gon was meant to be Anakin's father. Instead, he got a brother. Sure. And they kind of reference it a little bit here when they're like, now we become brothers, Anakin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rather than master and student. Yeah. We're brothers. And I'm like, no. (laughs) But ultimately, that all serves at the will of the Force. And Anakin helps bring balance. Sure. Just in the way no one thought about. Well, that led to a lot of death. First. Lots of death. <laughs> a think, whole star. Yeah. yeah. 1,000 years of Sith planning. A thing I did like, too, was seeing... Um, I don't think we ever got it in Clone Wars, but, like, Grievous is working with Dooku, and mm-hmm. like that's his master and stuff. Yep. But you never really saw Dooku, like, training, training. him or yeah. working with him. It was just like, why have you failed me, you know? His, yeah. <laughs> it was, yeah. Again, we... We skip over that type of things that was presented in this one. Yeah, you know. So and like, also, it's like I've been training that. your Jedi arts by Count Dooku. Yeah. We yeah. get to see that here. This, yeah, they, we do see that in this here. We never saw that in Clone Wars or anything, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. So the one thing that would have been cool, and, and the most history I think of Grievous we got in the Clone Wars was going into like his little bunker place, yep. and there was like, who's this warrior that they talked about? You know, um, Kalish warrior. Yeah. yeah. So I love. Uh, Dooku's training in this like you're holding the saber too tightly <laughs> now too, too gently that is such a good for Leela it is it's so good I, I enjoyed the 3PO moment when like Padme and like cause I thought it was Ventress chasing after Anakin and then it was Padme who had Leia hair <laughs> and I was like okay oh. Yeah, um, one. I thought you were talking about the scream later, but go on. No, I did like that too. Oh, the whole. <laughs> but then I love like when he's like Padme, Padme, you know, uh, yeah. whatever. Mistress Padme. And uh, 
he's wearing a cloak as well, like yeah. trying to hide. Yep. <laughs> like, I just thought it was so funny. He must yeah. be my disguise. You sir. look different. <laughs> yeah. But I did like too when he takes it down and like he holds it like draped over his arms and it's like yeah. and I was like what, what are we doing? This Why? is great. I don't Why are like we doing? It's did. ridiculous. I don't like what they did. <laughs> I love it. He turns into Marilyn Monroe. It's funny. It's like, yeah. yeah. And that, but that part didn't bother me. Like I thought it was funny. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I wasn't like this is weird. This war. Like it is weird. Programming this drawer is bullshit. Yeah, that part is bullshit. I like this. You know, he's already comic relief, right? Like I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he is. He is comic relief. That's As illustrated idea. by the hole in the building that he's just My, screaming out of. Oh! That's a, oh! what, what do we do, Senator? <laughs> the whole time he's like, "How dare you do the <laughs> He's just still talking. Just, I'm gonna I'm talk like, to your programmers. Speak to your programmers. That's oh, fun. really good. I liked uh, the leech tattooist on, yeah. with Anakin. I thought that was I love a how they cool just idea. threw it on him and it just made this, this cool pattern. Dude, the, the elder uh, Naveen or Navi Van, whatever they are, I love his. Nel Van. I just, <laughs> you know? Like, in terms of seeing things that are old for yeah. characters, he's like one of the oldest characters I feel like I've ever seen. Him sure. and uh, Master uh, Papanoida? Not Papanoida. That's that Duke guy. That, uh, yeah. I was talking about the the guy with the cane. Oh, oh the librarian. So, no. So, well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Salouay. Some patience. Yeah. Uh, Masters. Is it Salouay? It's. It starts with an S. I know that. So I don't know anyway. they can't no. Read. But this guy's just covered in crust. Yeah. And like, is it sleep all over his eyes? And... <laughs> he he yeah. reminded me like he should have been in the cartoon of like Rockers Modern Life or Ren and Stimpy or something. Mm. Like the way yeah. they were sitting around him and then he's him. Very like, heavy dark. You know, he's like, literally too old to line. go figure yeah. out why mother is weeping. He's squinting to see. Yeah. But his face is like that. Yeah. But they have the tail of the ghost they, hand. They changed those. Cool people yeah. so, so much I love it I wonder so if sad. their race is gonna die out like are they gonna be able to reproduce like how much yeah, did they change their, their physiology and stuff is that that is this that the last, last generation where we have the small well, they still had people children yeah. so there will be girl children and boy children well that, I would say that sure. was at least that last boy who was trying to finish his rights that didn't get to so when he gets older if nothing else it's up to him <laughs> <laughs> but you can't make a race of people from one couple yeah. we we talked about that it's gotta well, got to be like 450 right you got the old guy too well with humans I think but, he's but whatever that. they are <laughs> who knows sure I guess maybe like maybe they reproduce asexually I don't know how they work don't, you know but then they also they ripped do. off their they arms. Like Papa, you remember their arms? that had the green, the tubes, yeah. and green stuff coming out. I'm like, is that in them? What is that? Is the green stuff in them? You mean? I, yeah, I don't, because like they had arms, right? Yeah. But they yeah. pulled off their gun arms, and then the like, tubes were like leaking stuff. But those tubes went into them. So what is that stuff that was leaking out? I, uh, I mean, it, it's not because this wouldn't have been out. But I, when I saw it this time, I thought about the Dathomir magic that has green smoke. Sure, yeah. And that makes Savage bigger. Yeah. You know? Or, or they use it to like, change like up scientific uh, feet and arms or yeah, legs or whatever. What I mean. if it's like some type of like scientific like, you know... Force magical yeah, liquid? Like some kind of dark thing that you shouldn't do and they were... You know, it's a techno union. We know they do crazy yeah. things. Also, like they were used in it. did the techno union design Vader's suit? I don't think so. Because... In there, when Anakin was sneaking in and you saw the guys, like, walking past the screen, it looked mm -hmm. like there was a blueprint for, like, the helmet and chest rig yeah. for Vader. Uh, I think what it was, was meant... Well, they were talking about Grievous and the prototype. I think... Because Grievous is always kind of meant to be one-third of Vader, right? You have Maul with his rage, you have Dooku with his, his power, and you have Grievous with his mechanical ability and stuff like that. So... Maybe it was meant to be like if Grievous survived like episode Grievous three, he would have gotten an upgrade, which would have been maybe a little bit more like sure. Vader. But they were maybe. they were mentioning Grievous in the prototypes, yeah. Which these things were, were also like they were talking maybe, about brain modulations or something yeah. like that, which was interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So something about these experiments and taking the the warriors and experimenting on them was all in service of maybe upgrading Grievous. But could you could say is maybe something to to hint at Vader as well. I don't know who did the voice of this Grievous, but it did have more of a Vader-y sound to him. Which I it was uh, Bender from Futurama. Oh, John DiMaggio, yeah, whatever yeah, it is? I think so. I think so. Palpatine sounds like the voice actor who does the gargoyles in Medieval. Ye mm. Like Fortis... Oh, the gargoyles in yeah. Medieval. I put an and in there when you no, said it at first, and, and I was like, which gargoyle? And do you mean Daniel Fortescue? Gargoyles. <laughs> 
I did like the Windu giving him the cough, though. I was like, okay, well, that's cool. That's why he sounds different in the movie, you know? And It also just shows how more powerful Windu is. Like, right? Everybody has no, problems with Yoda. And he just <laughs> starts crushing him. Yeah. I love Yoda being on the little mount. Yeah. The little, like, goat tauntaun thing. That was great. Yeah, I, that was cool. I have, that's like, like a warm-weather warm tauntaun. Yeah. yeah, him just listing all those destroyer droids. Yeah, like a into, thousand of them. Yeah, into, into the, the tri fighters, the tri fighter thingy. Yeah, he's, they all he's moving one tri fighter into another. It's great. The the he landers. should do more of that. Those landers are huge. Wait, is wait, he wait. moving the lander or the steering wheel? <laughs> no, he went like this. He's like, go back in there and they the doors, went like, push it. That. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was interesting because like my mind in that one like, this seems ridiculous. He seems so strong, and I was like. It's like a Star Killer thing. Mm-hmm. Well, Star Killer didn't seem that strong though. Like he seemed strong, but not. I never put him like above Yoda. Legend, you know, like, Luke was that. Strong, and I didn't have right? a problem with Star Killer. I don't have a problem with this anymore. <laughs> and that, that was like my yeah, mind. His thought process is Gendy Teroski. He was justifying. It's a cartoon, <laughs> and he he embraces the cartoonness. Sure. I'm so excited. Like I want to watch Primal, his new thing. But oh, he did Primal. Yeah, Samurai Jack obviously is his first one. I love the tone of Samurai I've never Jack. I've seen that one. But I mean, it, it's both like it feels like a real. Solid story, but also accepts that it's itself as a cartoon. I think like if I watch something that you know, this has like a has more to it to me, you know, with yeah. like the movies and everything and the lore that I already know. You bring expectations to it. Yeah. yeah. So I think if I watch something like this, but it was yeah. like this is just its own thing. He made everything in it. I think I would probably really just enjoy all of it. You know, it really feels like you're just filtering Star Wars through his mind, like the first volume with the the spears. And yeah. The, I thought the lances were kind of silly, but yeah. then I'm like, eh, I don't know. Yeah. I guess it's okay. But, but it's also he hasn't seen before. He just has like a specific like rhythm in his head. Like this whole thing has like every time you see Fordo, he's always pff, pff, you know. Yeah. And even whenever well, he's fighting, we had that like fifteen second thing where he's just you know. Yeah, like you can feel the show's heartbeat and breath. You can I feel like especially like, in the timing, it was almost like a hot fuzz moment of yeah. the troopers getting ready before yeah. the drop mm-hmm. in the beginning. Exactly, yeah. Like, it was awesome. Then just like, they dropped those mines, and you guys are like, what are those mines for? Oh, well, that was him. him. <laughs> Cartoon. <laughs> I said, <laughs> are they going to blow up? <laughs> and the cows, they must be the duds. <laughs> no, no, I didn't I say they were duds. Oh, Rick said it. I, I did not say it. That's all I was saying. I didn't say they were duds. I was just like, are they going to blow up? I, those guys going like, <laughs> like that's, that is Gibby's timing. Like, the, the Wookiee that throws the spear, and then it hits the thing, and it's like, you know, there's just yeah. a very specific way he he uh, just frames his stuff. I don't know. It's the comedic time. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's like, you know, if you think about what I said before, where it has a heart and a breath, mm-hmm. like, most of the time those things are in sync. Yep. But they don't have to be. Yeah. So, like, you can feel, well, this is way, the way the heart is going, so this should be the pacing of it, but the show's holding its breath now, mm-hmm. and it slowed things down. Yep. This works for me. Feels like Ruby. Old Ruby. Old Ruby. And Bebop. Yep. All Bebop. And then in this, we had a character use its breath to slow things down, yeah. which was a, th- a Thorin with four throats versus Grievous, like a T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he, like, shrunk down into himself. Yep. It's a, it's a cape. Was like, <laughs> that way he had less pull. Yeah. I also love the cape on the train. Mm-hmm. When the cape was <laughs> great. Yeah, it's so good. I yeah. like that a lot. I thought Palpatine was going to untie it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, no, he needed to get them to a point. Yeah. I like when Palpatine also was like, Master Shakti here to rescue me <laughs> yeah. oh hello like it was just so matter of fact it's like he just like, like walked in as he was like adjusting his tie is yeah. what he feels like oh, glad you're here yeah. it's like someone who has been so far like removed from any kind of strife or yeah. tribulation or anything like that just doesn't understand how much danger they're in yeah. it's like oh that couldn't that terrible fate couldn't befall me mm-hmm. I'm Chancellor Palpatine yeah I would yeah. like to have seen like the Clone Wars like you know how, like, when in the Clone Wars we tackled, like, where was Anakin and Obi Wan, right? And then, like, oh well, here's where Ahsoka's going and all that kind of stuff. It would have been nice to have like an episode that was kind of dedicated towards like the attack of Coruscant or something, just but to kind of have that here. They didn't you know? because, like, you guys are saying, like, we never seen this. And I was like, we have, <laughs> you know, just you guys never watched it. Like, they didn't want to step on those toes. They they had such reverence for this show. Well, yeah, but if, in that same case, they they sent they didn't send Anakin to the. Nalveen people, you know, they, sure. they went to an Axis and yeah, you know, all that stuff instead, mm-hmm. you know, like yeah. there was a difference there. So, yeah. I, 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 I mean, like, just like kind of like the bigger stroke things, 
I didn't want to show like what's happening on the ground in the battle of Coruscant. It probably happened kind of like this, but obviously not exactly. You sure. Know? Yeah. I, Grievous has been coughing and fighting Jedi for a very long time. It's nothing new. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely changes like yeah. that. Like, they could have had him not cough, and then, like, he... Can you imagine if Grievous didn't have that cough mm-hmm. the entire Clone Wars? And then then you get, like, why didn't he have that cough? And then you have to watch this to understand why he has a cough in yeah. episode three. <laughs> yeah. Like, they could have done that, but... It, I just love his cough, though. <laughs> I love when he starts <laughs> coughing and he hits things up real quick so no one hears him. <laughs> I loved in that battle, too, uh, Mace reflecting the soddled laser beam. Yeah. They need to do that more often. Guys. Yeah. Well, they don't have they a lot of solid just, laser yeah. beams. Not usually a solid laser droid. I, I don't even. Know, yeah, I don't even know what the droids are. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've ever seen them in the movies. Very briefly, uh, in Geonosis, I think. I thought those were just the little spider droid things with That's the a different gun one. out of their nose. It's a DRDS There's, spider droid. Or they've definitely like had the spider ones that like the rotate the barrel. Mm-hmm. Those ones, right? Yeah. Those out. Like they had like a. Yeah. <laughs> And then they rotate them. Well, and yeah. Then there's on, also on the bridge in yeah. the beginning of Clone Wars. Yeah, and then there's also the ones that like they stomped on the guys in this one, where like they were walking yeah. up the mountain and they have like that like daddy gun. long leg looking thing. Kind of. They only have like three legs and it looks like a satellite dish yeah. almost on their head. Like there's those yeah. kind of ones too. Remember but these other ones like just really long. The Clone Wars oh. movie, uh, Anakin is like jumping up on like the very large ones. Yeah, the same type of droid, right? Um, well, they're the rotating ones. Yeah. Not these. Long they're very ones. similar to these ones. I think. I think but these are much smaller. Yeah, they're bi- they're bigger ones, but those ones operate relatively the same way, and those appear in episode two. Where you said in Genesis, Genesis. in the Somewhere. arena? No. Well, the there's, the there's only the little droids in the arena. Yeah. None of the big war it, droids. It's, it's where like the yeah. the circle thing's lifting. Yeah. Off, the, right? Yeah. Whenever the the Lucha Hulk <laughs> spheres are going up into the air, and you have you have the Hellfire droids. And you have Octop Topra. Octop Top Tara? Let me write it down. Octop Tara Droid. Hmm. I believe it's what it is. Hmm. Octop Tara. And they're the ones with the continuous yeah. laser? I mean, wait, it's way more cartoony here, you know, as in it's like it's super long and it just keeps going and can like destroy other droids in a second, you know, where they just explode like that, but it's I mean, it's the same way where, like, you guys saw the crab droids. Like, well, we never saw this before. Like, you saw crab droids like that in Episode 3. Like, you can see a Clone Wars, like, uh, a clone trooper jumping up and, like, killing it. But it's just slightly bigger and more exaggerated in the cartoon. Hmm. In this one or in the Clone Wars cartoon? Uh, in the Clone Wars cartoon when they're really, really big? Is that what you mean? They're more exaggerated? Yeah. Yeah, here. Well, we saw them here. Like that, We saw that kind of, like, crab-like droid at one yeah. point. Like, you have stuff that's similar to that uh, on Utapau in Episode 3. Yeah, I didn't get that these guys did their turn thing. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they're supposed to. I don't know if they yeah. did that in the other one. I'm trying to find them in... I mean, I'm sure that... Like, the ones in the Clone Wars, Clone Wars, Yeah, I feel like I recognize from that. Mm-hmm. These ones, I, I don't. But these also could just be a version like how you have the Super Battle Droids or you have the yeah. Techno Union Battle Droids, and they're a different version sure. of the Battle Droids. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm sure if you go to Wikipedia, you're going to find, like, a different model number for these ones. But they're going to be related to the Octoptara droids or whatever they're called. Hmm. I, uh, in this, I absolutely loved, if you guys caught it too, like, the horror that's happening inside the office when Grievous is killing. I mean, and it's terrible. Like, I love the, like you said, the heartbeat and the, and the breathing that's happening as he's killing those clone troopers. But when you go out, you just hear these terrible sounds, including a chainsaw. Yeah, no. <laughs> and you're just like, let's be like, what's happening in there? It's like Doom Guy's in there. Yeah. It's going to town. <laughs> yeah. So I, we saw. I, was, I did like when the elevator happened, and that was like, oh, is he going to jump on top? And like in that, you're thinking of like more of like a T1000 kind of thing. Or sure. Yeah. And or you just like. And then you just see his face just sort of like. <laughs> <laughs> He's just running down the mountain. And that you clone, clone trooper just like. Yep. Shoot him with a rocket. <laughs> no, well, he shot him with a rocket through the glass. <laughs> and, and Grievous sees that whole process and changes nothing. Yep. Yeah. Whenever we watched, I think it was Hobbs and Shaw, and they had an elevator scene like that, I was thinking of this. Mm. I was like, man, I wish one of those guys just pull out a rocket and shoot out of it. Did not happen. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that was like Shaw was like going down that elevator, yeah. and everyone else was like on a thing, yeah. running down. It was similar in ways. Yeah, very similar. <laughs> he, was just, he was chasing them with the elevator. Mm-hmm. So we saw Luke's trial of spirit. I wonder why his other trials were, yep. or if he went through them. Because there's courage, there's like strength. Mm-hmm. You saying the Dagobah like tree is the spirit trial? Yeah, right. Tree he faced of himself. Evil, cave of evil. Sure. Um, 
I mean, what were they trial and? Uh, there was like Luke's final trial. There was a trial. A spirit, body, courage, strength. I think right. Well, there's some about flesh. Which trial of the flesh was his hand. The flesh. Yeah. Yeah. And they kind of compared that to trial Anakin of, losing his hand to Dooku. It's trial like, of skill was one, right? To, you know, I mean, trials are Jedi just make it significant, like events significant. We can call it a trial, but I mean, Yoda says you're not a Jedi until you face Vader. So I think his trial of spirit is literally facing his father again, knowing that it's his father. And we know that he goes through that he's about ready to kill him, and he looks down and sees I'm becoming this person, and he throws away his lightsaber. That's I think that's his trial of his spirit. I can see that. Sure. Dagobah, I don't know if he passes it necessarily, but it's the same idea. Yeah. He's yeah. facing himself and his father, you know, mm-hmm. in that moment. That's sure. why when he cuts off his head, you see Luke's face yeah. inside the Vader helmet, because he could become this. Um, but no, we never really uh, been able to lock down what exactly Jedi trials look like sure. for conventional well, people, because... Yoda also told Obi-Wan, him, like, you're not, you're not ready yet. It's like, I have to save my friends, yeah. and he left anyway. Mm-hmm. It would be interesting, too, to, like... There's been more and more High Republic stuff, so yeah. we could see more of, like, what is a trial. Yeah. Like, Acolyte, right, mm-hmm. is coming out, and that's supposed to be more in the High Republic era. Mm-hmm. So, like, maybe in that, we could see more of, like, what does it mean to become a Jedi Knight? What yeah. are the trials? What do they look like? That could be cool. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. we had them in Jedi Apprentice books, but that's not canon. Not okay anymore. I mean, it's as canon as this is. Like, maybe some stuff, you can you can pick out things that you like. And sure. That's, that's why it's called contradict. Legends, right? It's, it's not exactly what happened, but there's a legend about it. I like, uh, I imagine it's what you have to do whenever you get one to make sure it works. But like, Anakin did the same thing that like Luke did, like when he was fixing his hand and he's like, all right, you know, he puts a glove on it and stuff. Like it just reminded me like whenever they did the thing, he was like, he did the same thing. I just like in Star Wars, you get to see like the little mechanical things in his wrist, like doing its movements and stuff. I love that in that movie because like you see it, you buy it, he puts the glove on. Now they never have to worry about it again. Yeah. Just so smart. Yeah, it's great. Like in this, in Star Wars, in the prequel movies and stuff, because they gotta like, it's, it's a weird thing. It's like, well, we're in the future making this, but it's gotta seem like it's in the past. But also, they're a little bit more advanced because war and stuff is happening, all that, whatever. So, but he just has like a metal hand, and you see that metal hand, and he just he puts his glove on over it too. Yeah, and you're like, all right, well, there's a metal hand there. Don't have to think about it. Yeah, but and then Obi Wan makes not, everybody think about it. Yeah, but it's not quite the same as like Luke's. Like if you take that glove off, it just looks like a hand. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because uh, it's a synth skin. Yeah. Uh, another example of Star Wars that came after this, respecting this, is in uh, Rebels, when Kanan gets kind of knighted by this, like that vision. Sure, of I thought the Grand about that Inquisitor. a little bit. Like that, those lines were specifically lifted from this by the right of the Council, by the will of the Force. Hmm. They're the exact same ones. Yeah, that's cool. So I'm just glad. Like this, this kind of knighting ceremony, even though this isn't canon, is kind of like the backbone of any other knighting ceremony in Star Wars now. Yeah, it's we. Cool. Uh, Especially the, the cut of the... Yeah, I'm so glad it happened. I was like, you know, it'd be better is if you yeah. cut the... And it happened. <laughs> sure. The family, uh, when we were watching through Rebels, we're still going through it. We just got past that part not long ago. Mm-hmm. And, like, whenever they were doing that, I was thinking of, like, ah, oh, when he knighted him and stuff, and yep. it just seemed similar to it. Mm-hmm. He just didn't have his Padawan braid. Sure, yeah. Not anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just... It's crazy with all the Jedi that we've followed. We've never actually been able to see, like, a proper trial into ceremony before Obi-Wan defeats a Sith Lord and I was like that's good enough <laughs> you yeah, know yeah. <laughs> he's a knight <laughs> that was his trial <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah and uh, everyone else is kind of unconventional too Ahsoka we never really get to see it nope. it's well, crazy yeah, she never here. she never does it she never yeah. becomes a giant knight mm-hmm. maybe Grogu I mean I guess they kind of like what they do at the end of that? Because they were like, I felt like they were offering her more to come back to it, but they did they offer her braid the back, braid and yeah. stuff too. So. Yeah, non or Jedi that don't grow hair, they just like add beads and stuff to their yeah. braids. Master Rancisus, Opo Rancis, Rancis or Rancisus? I, I always like, said. I feel like Yoda had like a. I always thing said there. Rancis. Rancis. I wrote Rancisus. Yeah, I saw R- y- Yoda, Rancisus. Well, when yeah. Yoda said it wasn't so much what I read, but it was the way Yoda said it. Um, which sounded more than just Rancis. It felt like there was another syllable there. But I don't know. Yeah. Opo ran si Like C I S I S, right? C I S I S. Rancisis, maybe? You see him very briefly in episode one. Very briefly, but he is there. He has this big, like, tail that goes around us. Yeah. I always wanted to see him fight. We saw him in Clone Wars at a point, too. And we brought him up and talked about it. 
But like his little thing there too was interesting. He definitely reminded me much more of like something that belonged in Dr. Seuss. Just I think it's because of With his the, hands. like the curly fingers. I think it's his hands being like furry and long and like very moving. Were they like, furry? They looked like a like a I thought worm. They, I think that looked furry to me. I don't know. Uh-huh. I was thinking of like yeah. bills and stuff. In know. the comics, right. when he fought, it was always terrifying because he's like a giant snake, snake, and he just smashes you. <laughs> it would be scary to fight a yeah. snake. You know, Medusa was a hell of a thing. Yep, hell of a thing. <laughs> But anyway, I liked whenever Yoda was like, uh, dang, what was it? What was the line? Have you always listened to me or something like that when you were facing your trials? Oh, yeah. or, I forget what it was exactly. There's something along those lines where it's like, oh, oh, oh. Same thing Obi Wan told Yoda, right? Kind of, yeah. Where it's like, was I so different when you trained me? <laughs> it's like, uh. Man, yeah, I don't know. There's some things I really like. There's a few things I'm like, that was weird. And there's some things I was like, <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. like the weird thing for me was just like, the Dagobah tree. I'm like, man, that's weird. I wonder what, what does this mean? Where's he going with this? And then we didn't, I didn't, I didn't feel like we went far yeah. enough, except for maybe it was more of like a, a vision for Yoda to push the knighthood maybe. And, yeah. But also, you can go into the idea of like, you know, the dark side has been clouding the Jedi and stuff. Was Yoda seeing something that maybe Palpatine was putting in there trying to push? Because like they even said Palpatine has wanted him to be a knight or something like that. Sure. Like, that was one of the things that they talked about in the movies too, where it's like the dark side is close, and you know, are we being manipulated by the dark side? And you know, it easily could have been Palpatine's like trying to. I think Clone Wars dealt with a little bit too, right? Like he's trying to manipulate the whole time, but is he doing it more force ways rather than just, all right, I control these and yeah. I control these, and they think sure. they don't know what's going on. And it was funny. Well, that was the whole thing with the dark side clouding the force. They couldn't see if their decisions were right or wrong, so they just had to. Just had to trust that the Force knew what was happening and that it was doing what it wanted to happen. Sure. Which, I, I, I'm, I know that they mentioned that kind of thing. I just wonder if, like, remember in uh, Clone Wars when, like, Yoda was having, you know, the, the Qui-Gon conversations. And then in that moment, they were like, what if the dark side is trying to get Yoda and, mm-hmm. you know, convince that there's something else? Like, yeah. my mind kind of goes to the same thing with, like, the Dagobah Qui-Gon vision there where it's like, could it be Qui-Gon trying to give a message? Could it be Palpatine trying to mess with Yoda? Could it be just a vision that Yoda saw versus the the future or the past of the Force, you yeah. know? It's, and it's, and it's had, that thing where it's like, I don't know. He's I, remembering a vision he saw. Yeah, it's hard to think about what the Force is and what the messages mean. I don't know, you know? And it could just be if you say Palpatine you know, you don't know. straight up <laughs> manipulating them, not even with the Force. Like, in Volume 1... We just had him like, you know, we should we should send Anakin to this to this thing. He's like, well, I I don't think we should send Anakin. We'll send someone else. He's like, well, you know, they would be better served here. So it's settled. Send Anakin. He's like, he was making and the council like, decision like, for what him. The fuck. Sure. Yeah. So like, we know he he's definitely trying to manipulate things in the physical world. Mm-hmm. It's just like I wonder, and it's it's never necessarily clear, but I wonder sure. what he does force wise when like you know Mace and Yoda are talking about like. Dark side's clouding our judgments and our our we can't see what the future holds yeah. and all this stuff and I mean it goes it's just interesting to like think about that and it also goes to to rebels when he's like he's just constantly watching everything sure like he doesn't necessarily know everything either he doesn't he necessarily lot, know but he, he sees so, so much, much. And, and he can just reach out through the galaxy and just change little things here and there it's like two chess players turn their backs on the board and someone is just moving the pieces to change the outcome a little bit. Sure. I think Obi-Wan meant whenever he's uh, he's like able to understand what the the aliens are saying. He almost kind of implies that he's using a force power to understand what they're saying, which we've seen that happen before with Ahsoka and Grogu, right? She can like go into his mind despite him. She can him commune with him. Yeah. yeah. It felt like you a know? force commune. But it felt like a very Qui-Gon thing to like to have that be a thing and then he just never tells anybody about it except for Obi-Wan. Yeah, he said, like, if you travel the galaxy long enough with Qui-Gon, you pick yeah. some things up. Yeah, but I don't know if he meant, like, the dialect they're speaking, or, like, literally, Qui-Gon is so in tune with the living force, he can just converse with people without knowing their language. Like, sure. Which is an interesting thing, too, because I could believe possibly both of those yeah. as an idea, where it's like, the force does lots of things, and we don't fully understand mm-hmm. it, and it's fun to go through, like, the Clone Wars series, and we see different types of usage of the force, too. Yeah, different like Rebels. face of the force. Right. Yeah, and like just doing that, like, is there a way that you can be so in tune with the living force where like language isn't a problem? You know, like you can connect with it, anything, yeah. 
and understand what it's telling you or what it means or what it wants. On like an emotional or psychological level. Yeah. You and can it, read them. And it kind of connects and a little bit. Not necessarily Obi-Wan couldn't like talk to them really, but he could like, he could show them things and they could infer. Sure. Know, like they understood it, that he could understand them, but I don't think they could understand him. Yeah, yeah maybe. You know? yeah. Because That's he was why like, he shows the hand. Look, and he takes it off. Yeah, here. But this is this is what you're talking about. In those kind of senses, like we've had it where like Jedi have connected with like animals and been able to manipulate them or, you know, understand their feelings or dominate too, them. you know, whatever the case may be. Or bring like them why to can't your, that your enemy? Yeah. And you have Jedi mind tricks and stuff too, where it's yeah. like that's manipulating real people that way too. Sure. Why couldn't you use the force to rather than suggesting or yeah. making someone do what you want them to do? being able to understand what they're trying to tell you. In a new trilogy, you have two people that can talk to each other through the Force. Sure. Sure. Yeah, no. And who's to say that they're using a a language, like, who's to say they're talking basic in that? Like, they might just be through the Force. But if it's really just in their head, and you're kind of getting a visual representation of what's happening. See, it's it's one of those things where, like, I really like this, but it will contradict what will come in the later later Clone Wars, where Obi-Wan and Anakin are on the planet with the towels, and they cannot speak, and they need 3PO. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I just I, I like I love it, but it also doesn't gel with that later. But it well, gels with something else later. Maybe so, it's yeah. because the tall didn't have as close a connection to the force, so Obi Wan couldn't read them. Whereas these people could. Yeah. It's why like I'm like it would have been cool if Clone Wars maybe would have dealt with some of the Grievous goes to catch Palpatine because mm-hmm. this is like a Legends thing, and there's sure. things where it's like this works really well in there, but then this doesn't work really well like there. So I had to like pick and choose what parts I feel like work well and put yeah. that into like this can be my canon of this you know versus like just being like well that was Legends and then they pulled from this Legends and made Clone Wars which is canon you know yeah but I think right now we're just left with it kinda happened like this yeah, yeah. I don't know how exactly yeah but like, I like to think that Thorian actually like yelled yeah, yeah. I like to think yeah, that it's cool <laughs> it's, it's like what we talked about in the first part where it's like Mace Windu and all the crazy stuff he did in that one fight on that planet was like taking out an entire army of droids. Mm-hmm. And that little kid, that's how he tells that story. Yeah. To, regardless of like, maybe there were only, you know, instead of a thousand droids, there were 50, you know, or something or like that. Or maybe instead but of him, like, it seemed like so much stomping more. Stomping the planet with a hydraulic cylinder, it was just like, you know, dropping some kind of seismic charge or something like that. Sure, whatever the case may be. And like, you go into this one, you can do the same thing. Or like, when you have the story of what Mace and Yoda are doing a course on, it's a little kid looking out the window being like, oh my gosh, look at that. Is he doing this? And he just shoved his hand in there. He's controlling with the wires. Like, no, he did it. He grabbed a hold of a control stick somehow and like a droid cockpit looking thing or something. But there's no droid in there. But the whole thing's a droid. Yeah. So I don't know what he did. But maybe there's like a he real was, reason, but this is like the legend reason. You he was know? fighting his B2s like Ip Man fought all those guys. Like, <laughs> it sounded like a machine out. gun at one point. When yeah. he punched him, he's like, Brrr. my favorite will always be just taking all the bolts and letting it fall. Yeah, yeah I like that. Well. That's so that's my favorite. One. That's a fun way of like killing off a droid. Yeah. You know, yeah. you can't do that with a person unless you just like rip out all their bones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you imagine like, and you're like, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I I do think like you know we had a really cool vision on Mortis in the original or not in original but in the current Star Wars <laughs> canon Clone Wars story. But I think I like the vision here better. Really? The I, I mean, the other one obviously like is, the... is cool, but like I love that we're hearing, we're seeing the story of this planet and what's happened, and it literally is. You realize at the end, no, that was Anakin. Like that was just the story of the galaxy. That was Padme. That was him. That was him using this ability to save the people that he loves, and it kills them. It you tells know? two stories with no words. Yeah, yeah. It, I, I think I just sure. like that a little time bit more than just you know, you know, seeing a couple glimpses and, and smoke into the future Wars, yeah sure it wasn't the same thing for sure but yeah, yeah it, it, it's supposed to be kind of a similar idea i guess yeah. i just love i love the artwork i love the uh, how happy and proud the, mm. the 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 warrior is and he doesn't realize that he's killing everyone like a, until like a split second later and it's horror and that's just exactly what yeah. happens with it's like the force sure. that now he's not controlling it and it's yeah. like he's like oh, oh and then it starts killing everybody because yeah. he's not looking at what's happening and it kept getting that's the one thing i liked with it was that he had that and he did ha i did this yeah and then like the next thing he's like oh huh, i did this and like each time it gets a little bigger it's strong to where yeah. he grabs like the whole thing and takes it out too yeah. and then it just starts getting so big that he can't control it anymore. yeah and, and, and he was can, the one fighting it not realizing that that's that power, but he was the one fighting it to begin with, right? Yeah. Fighting back the dark side, stopping the Clone Wars, trying to be the hero, raising yeah. Ahsoka, you know, like those yeah. things. He's trying to fight back the evil and the darkness mm-hmm. until eventually it is actually him and it consumes everything he loved anyway. Yeah. 
So was that the force trying to warn Obi-Wan? And Obi-Wan was just like, yeah, yeah, go do that. That sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know the will. I mean, we don't know anything, how it works. But, I mean, they, they, he said, like, it's, it's hard to read those things, and it always comes down to your choices. And Anakin made his choices. Sure. And we even have it in here, too, where, like, beats. the understanding of even the Jedi Council, where they're like, yeah. why would we not, you know, promote the je- the chosen one, you know? It's yeah, like, sure. well, if he is the chosen one. Is that, That's not yet still clear. that doubt that's there where it's like we don't really know what that means you know even they don't understand what the what is the prophecy you know and then you have like you have obi-wan and stuff where it's like there's luke and it's like is he the chosen one it's like yes and it's like but you guys said that anakin was the chosen one it's like does anyone know what's going on no but this is what the story is and it's what people believe and where where their beliefs fall and yeah. it's just a complicated thing mm-hmm. you know what i think I, I just love the moment of obi-wan getting dripped on Oh. Just being like impatient, but he's like he's always telling Anakin, "Patience, Anakin," you know. But he just, <laughs> how long will it be another three months, sir? We've already been here one month, you know. Exactly, right on schedule. That is the only love... time we saw Cody. Yeah, no, yeah, it is. I, I just, I love that. And we really never saw Rex or any of the Five O First. Like right? that moment too nope. is, is so Soka. Samurai Jack. The closest thing we got to the Five O First were the Separatist ships mm-hmm. that were painted blue and white. <laughs> Yeah. I love this, I love the paint design on that uh, that gunship though. Yeah, that was really I have, cool. I have like a regular gunship, and then I have that one, especially painted. Did you paint it? No, it's, oh, it can't okay. like it. Oh. oh, I was gonna say, did you rather paint it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anytime they can make like you redesign something like that, that's the, the exact toy same shell. Yeah, toy comes like we already had the mold. We don't have to spend money. Yay! <laughs> yeah, yep. I believe that. That's why you have a million Clone War troopers and all those different stormtroopers. Yeah, because you can just kit bash. Just repaint things, but then you have terrible things, like, like the cr- black like the chrysanthemum is coming out. <laughs> uh, well, guys, that was uh, your treat for May Fourth. We hope that you enjoyed, and we hope that you stick around because at the end of this month, we have Obi Wan Kenobi Ooh. to reveal. We just got a lot of James Arnold Taylor uh, in this one, and we know so much of his work. Yeah. The Hayden Christensen one is like, you know, master. <laughs> like, that, that, I love that. <laughs> I think so overall, it felt like it was a Hayden thing. It did, yeah. It wasn't Matt Lanter. But I'm it, so it, used to animated Anakin being Matt Lanter. But there's a part of me that wants, like, I just want to, like, re record Matt Lanter going in and doing all these lines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Especially, like, the slurping of the worm and, like, let's go. And the kissing Come on, sound. Obi-Wan. I love the kissing. Come on, the master. kissing. Yeah. Oh, she's like, mm. <laughs> that was so weird. Oh, so good. <laughs> that noise that she made. <laughs> it was, yeah, but it was just it was romance. It's it was romance. It's her. You know, romance like, for children. Calvin. If you're just I in know. your bedroom and and like you know your girl makes that noise, you you're not gonna think about it. But you're yeah. watching it, and you're like, ah, yeah. Calvin, you get home tonight. You go up to your girl and you go, mm, as you kiss her hello. She's going to be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Report back during the <laughs> premiere. We'll see you guys then. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this Star Wars May 4th uh, bonus that we had in here. Uh, if you guys enjoy Star Wars, subscribe as we cover as much Star Wars as we can here on the channel. And uh, we really enjoy it. And we'll talk about it all the time. Bonus! As we did today. Boo, 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 boo. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Ha, <laughs>